today's top story. The Irish public is left to bail out the banks through increased tax charges. I can confirm that the government has today decided that Ireland apply uh, for financial assistance uh, to the European Union. The government is committed to raising an extra 2.6 billion euro in extra taxes over the next two years as part of the EU IMF programme. Property taxes and water charges are specifically mentioned. There's even a mention of an increase in property tax in 2013. Yet there's little information on how a water charge might work or how much people might be expected to pay. The average person's annual tax payment is 1,500. A massive bailout of over $100 billion from the European Union and international monetary... Let's cut to the chase, right? Ireland has not been bailed out. I am not being bailed out. My children are not being bailed out. The people who are being bailed out by this deal are the very delinquent bankers that lent and gambled on the reputations of Sean Fitzpatrick, of Anglo-Irish Bank, of AIB, of Bank of Ireland. They have nothing to do with me. In actual fact, I've never been inside the foyer of Anglo-Irish Bank, and yet I'm expected to pay taxes for the next possibly 20 years to pay off loans that that bank gave out to developers to build their crazy dreams around the city, loans that were originally financed by European banks. I mean, this is just a joke. This has created an outrage on the streets as over 14 counties over Ireland protest. Scenes at the gates of Leinster House tonight. Gardaí, some using batons, tried to stop a group of protesters gaining access. Some emerged with cuts and were treated by others at the scene. It's understood at least one Garda was also injured. The protesters were part of a larger rally of about a thousand people campaigning against the bailout of banks here. PNR took it to the public to find out people's opinions on this matter. I don't think it's fair, no, I think it's very unfair. I think the government are basically loading off all their mistakes on my generation and the younger generation and we will be paying for these mistakes for a long time after that government is gone. Um, I think basically it's a disgrace. Well, I think it's just another one of these underlining taxes. You know, everyone's going to have to pay because of make up for what the banks and the politicians have put us in over the last 10 to 15 years, you know. Like I can barely manage to pay my bills and run my car as it is. I'm so outraged that the government are burning us even more. Um, the banks destroyed this country and now we have to pay them back. We have the household charge and now the water charge. What else? I think it's a disgrace. They, they should be shot. They're only doing it to bail themselves out of debt. They're ripping us off. Yeah, like I think it's a disgrace. What are they going to tax next? The air we breathe? We're obliged to pay it now, we're, otherwise we're going to get an extra penalty for it. So I don't think we're left with much choice about it. Do? For more news, switch over to PNR Plus One.